Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, if you want to see the paper comparison immediately, just jump to this um, timestamp. Otherwise, if you if you don't mind listening to me ramble, <laughs> welcome and uh, welcome back if you've been a subscriber of mine, which I have now 50 and that's quite awesome because I did not uh, think that uh, there would be people <laughs> wanting to listen to me uh, drone on about planners and journals and uh, paper. I um, I use this basically to talk to people about this stuff since I don't I, I don't have anyone else. well I have my husband but I mean while he is very supportive and um, he will listen to me when I talk about that he is not that interested <laughs> um, there's this uh, dimming of the lights in his eyes when I talk too long about it which is understandable because let's be honest talking about planners and layouts and papers is for people who are not interested is like watching paint dry probably so yeah I don't I don't fault him for that and except for YouTube and the planner community I don't really have anyone to talk about this except maybe for these two guys um, anyway so yeah uh, I'm grateful you are here and um, this is the video I was talking about where I would compare some papers uh, well one actually new paper that I um, ordered um, as a replacement for Tomo River paper since I heard that it was discontinued I, I don't have newer information on that so if there were any changes and you know about it please inform me I, I have not looked it up further but yeah this this video I uh, promised I would make and um, I, I I'm not I'm not gonna do that again because promising to make a video if my plans change or I don't have time or whatever just makes me feel very anxious <laughs> and if I if I have promised something or said that I would do something I really really like to do that and not go back on because on my promise because something changed or whatever so this one uh, was particularly hard for me because I did have uh, in mind what papers I would compare but what I did not think about was that I am still uh, not uh, fully moved and um, most of my stuff is in storage and I don't I don't have a lot of pens to test the papers with <laughs> especially not uh, I think not pens that most people would have and uh, would want to use with this what I have is just some fountain pens and gel pens and markers and a normal ballpoint pen so I hope that's enough I I'm not sure anyway let's get into the paper um, what I have here is um, our inserts with uh, two different papers that I have bought from a shop it's a it's an Etsy shop but they do have a dedicated website also where you can uh, order and I've bought on both 
uh, without issue. They are based in Spain and they make different uh, sizes of inserts. I have now a uh, standard size. Uh, well, the uh, the name is Good in Ink Impressions. If just not forget it. Okay, so um, this one I have ordered many months ago. I still have it. Uh, I've done I've done some little pen tests in it, but yeah. And these ones are new. Actually, I only uh, ordered these two. The uh, standard uh, TN insert size and a field note size. And this one, I, I, I'm imagining it's passport size. I am not sure. Uh, this one came um, as a gift, basically, uh, for testing. And all of these inserts come with a book dot. So now I have... <laughs> I yeah and um, yeah what I what I did order was first uh, a few months ago this Atome River white paper insert but this is the thicker Atome River paper it's the 68 GSM size uh, which um, if you're familiar with the Hobonichi it has a 52 GSM as far as I'm aware so it, that's a lot th thinner this one is a bit uh, thicker it's still very thin like it's Tomoe River paper but a, a tiny bit thicker and it's also quite white and the grid is in this case a 0 0.5 grid I believe now uh, this time what I ordered was um also a uh, standard size tn insert and a field nose insert of the paper is called um i'm trying i i guess it's splendor gel splendor gel splend i i will yeah i will write it down and uh, I, I'm not certain how it's pronounced, but since it's a Spanish-based shop, and I think the paper is might be Italian, I think it's a Splendogel. Well, I don't know. That's the name of the paper, and this is the cream version. I've got both in the cream version and grid, because that's just easiest for me to use. And... Um, I will be comparing this paper, but I will be using this um, test insert because, um, see, this is, um, it was a sample of the same Splendor Gel paper, but in white instead of cream. And since my Tomoe River is also white, I will be using this. Uh, this is, however, lined and not uh, gridded, uh, but I don't think that's an issue. So this is what I will be using for, for the pen test. And uh, the third one I have is a Clairefontaine paper. Uh, this is a D and D notebook, whatever. <laughs> um, this is uh, the only Clairefontaine I had with me. And I will be uh, comparing this to the other two. And this is also white. So, yeah, I could compare it um, to, uh, in addition to a Midori paper. But the one I have is, I think they are all cream. So, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure that would be ideal. Um, so, yeah. Now, um, about the feel. I assume you know what Tomoe River feels like. It, it is quite uh, thin. Uh, however, like I said, this one is a bit thicker, but I am aware how the other one feels. So it's, it's still very thin and it's not completely smooth. Well, it is very smooth, but um, there is a tiny bit of tooth to it. 
at least at this uh, 68 uh, GSM version. There is a tiny bit of, uh, of tooth. Now, this Splendor Girl paper is a bit thicker. I assume it's like 80 or 90 GSM or mm, it's not as thick as, I don't know. I, I would have to look it up and I'm right now I'm too late. <laughs> I might look it up when I edit and uh, just write it down. And this is very, very smooth. But it also has a tiny bit of tooth to it. And I feel like it's even more. Mm -hmm. It's almost exactly the same, I would say. But it, this is a lot thicker. And um, the Clairefontaine paper, is it's not very expensive. Just so you know, this is the most inexpensive one of the three. It's a lot thicker. It's, I believe, 90 GSM. Also very smooth. And I feel like almost this one has less tooth than these two have. Even though it is also like it's it's thicker and cheaper i feel like these two have more tooth than this one does because it's very very slick and smooth okay now the pen test i <clears throat> i don't have a lot of pens with me but uh, i've i've done a, a pen test in this tomo river insert i'll just zoom you guys in yeah uh, you can uh, I with fountain pens and different inks um, you can see it's very it's very pretty the Tumwe River shows the ink very nice Ex especially this uh, Sailor Shikiori ink there's like a, a slight reddish sheen to it and there's no no feathering and um, there's a little bit of ghosting but no bleeding. This is, well, in my experience or in my opinion, this is the perfect fountain pen paper. Um, now, uh, the other pens that I have uh, are a uh, Zebra Zaraza clip uh, in uh, black, I believe. And also in, uh, uh, let me just, where is it here? Yeah. <laughs> uh, also in um, Camel. They are both from the vintage um, uh, collection. And uh, what do else do I have? I have three uh, Sailor markers. Um, I I'll, I'll try the uh, thick tip. I don't have any like tombos or. Stabilo boss with me or anything of the sort, so I will be using these. Okay, uh, the next thing is a simple uh, 0 0.5 tip gel pen, black gel pen, uh, quick dry. I don't have any jet streams or whatever their names are. I This is the only one I have. Um, so, yeah. And the last one is um, my husband's ballpoint pen <laughs> it's just it's a simple ballpoint okay so 
this is how the pens um, write on it um, and this is the back side as you can see there is some ghosting and I'm quite heavy handed with the ballpoint but there's no bleeding and um, yeah it's fine especially since this is this is the uh, slightly thicker Tomoe River paper. I um, almost feel like I like this one better than the 52, but um, we will see. My next planner is a 52 GSM um, Tomoe River paper planner, so I don't know. We will see. Now, this is the uh, Splendor Girl paper. And I will be first making a test with um, fountain pens. Now, this is the uh, Tiamine Marine ink. As you can see, it looks okay. Um, I feel like, well, hmm, there is no feathering and I see, um, the, the, is it the sheen or the wet, the, the color change and the ink is very nice in here. Okay. So next one. Okay, this one, hmm, um, this one I feel like is not so great. This is the uh, Aurora and Klingner Scabiosa ink. It's a slight um, purple. I'm not sure if you can see that it's purple or if it looks gray in the camera. Well, it's, it is slightly purple. Um, but I feel like the, um, the, the fountain pen was a, uh, B size, a bold size. So it put a lot of, a lot of ink on the paper and I feel like it has slightly feathered. Hmm. Okay. Now my last one. It's my favorite ink currently. Okay, this is my currently favorite, the uh, Sailor Shikiori Yamadori. It does. There is, you can see the the reddish um, sheen. It's also not very easy, I know, because uh, the um, fountain pen is an extra fine, so it doesn't put a lot of ink on the paper, but you can see the reddish sheen on it, and there is no feathering. Okay, uh, now I've used all of them. The um, Sarasa clip looks looks not. They all look fine except the ballpoint. I felt like it was skipping a lot. And um, those are the markers. And now the back side. It did not bleed. I I thought the. Uh, the bold ink would bleed, but it didn't. Uh, the others are fine too. I feel like it goes it very little. Um, is it dry? Yep, it's dry. The gel pen is also dry, so yeah. 
that is a, the uh, Splendor Girl paper. I am not disappointed. <laughs> like, I I feel like this could be indeed a contender for the first spot for me after the uh, Tomo River is gone. Oh well, this this did um smear a little bit. I don't know why the the others didn't. Okay, well, so yeah. This is nice paper. And the last one I want to test is um, the Clairefontaine, uh, which I don't know. It's it's so old. I feel like people already saw this. Like this is I the first ones were made in like the fifties or something. So. Um, this is not new paper, but in case you haven't seen it yet, I'm just going to um, make the pen test. Okay, um, so this is uh, the uh, similar pen test with this uh, Clairefontaine paper. As you can see, I've tested the smearing and it, it smeared quite a bit because it is very smooth paper. Now, see, now it's dry, now it doesn't smear. The others also. Okay, so... Um, this is not the uh, worst paper for fountain pens, I feel like. If you are on a budget and this is the best you can do, um, please, I, uh, as you can see, I use it very, um, very often. I love this paper, especially for ballpoint pens because they just glide like butter. It uh, doesn't even matter what kind of ballpoint pen, they just, it's awesome for them. It's also not, not bad with fountain pens, um, one of the better options. Um, the gel pens are just normal and I feel like the, the markers do um, show up a bit, but not, like you can see, it's also not bleeding, there is no, there's some ghosting, but it's very nice and inexpensive paper in my opinion or at least for where I am from this is the easiest to get and the cheapest because it's just so old it's everywhere <laughs> so yeah um, this is nice paper I like it so this was uh, my uh, pen test with the three different papers uh, the white versions of it um, as you can see, they are not extremely different, especially the um, Tomo River and the Splendor Girl, uh, like how they performed with the pens. But I do uh, have to say this Tomo River, of course, is a lot thinner. Now, I know some people uh, very much dislike that. <laughs> They are they this this kind of Bible paper crinkly uh, stuff is is not the thing, but um, other people like myself I uh, adore it. But if I have to change over to something else where I feel that uh, my inks are um, well uh, received, I guess um, I will be using this Splendor Girl paper which is quite nice. And um, if you want to know more about the shop where I got these, uh, like I said, the name is Good Impressions. It's stamped on here. You can uh, decide what size you want, what type of paper. They do have still a uh, Tumor River paper. 
I've checked. <laughs> um, they also do like monthly inserts with uh, undated calendars. Um, like I said, the size, you can decide the color of the um, of the cover. It's like a 300 GSM card stock. Let me just... Okay, uh, it's uh, a card stock uh, with... They have, I think, 12 different colors. And um, I've ordered several times, uh, both on the Etsy shop and um, the dedicated uh, shop whatever and um it it took for me it took um about two weeks with snail mail <laughs> it was very slow from uh spain but also i do live in um central europe so uh, i i have no idea how fast it is uh, for other countries i i think i am pretty pretty certain they do ship internationally so if I if I'm mistaken, I just look it up on their Etsy shop. Uh, I'm sure the info is somewhere over there. Well, now this was my pen test. I hope it was somewhat helpful for someone. <laughs> I, I don't know who, but um, the, the people who are interested in papers as I am probably. So um, I'm not sure if, if my pen selection was any helpful, but that's pretty much everything I have. I couldn't, like, there, there, there's nothing like a Tombow or a uh, chat stream that I could test because I just don't don't have them with me. Uh, I don't even own a chat stream, okay? So, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Thank you uh, for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!